<laughs> Here comes Steve Corino. The main event of the evening, Steve Corino and his fans are going ballistic. And Steve Corino has one hell of a task in front of him as he's going to be wrestling the American dream. I'm going to try to stay as focused on this match as possible. Let's That's also good. keep in mind that there's a moron, Noel, in the back who I can't stand and hope that he has a very bad night tonight. But and here he comes. Barring that, let's focus on this. Oh, those must be more. Speaking of rats. Those must be more of Down Relations girls. And here he comes. Dusty says, get out of my way. Look over here. A Dusty Rose on the American Dream. Fans appreciate you and Dusty Rose out there, don't they, Peter Van Oren? Come on, you gotta stay settled. I'm as, I'm as settled as I can get. I mean, it's great to see the dream finally in IHPW. It's awesome to see him here. Yeah. Great to even see Steve Carino back in IHPW. These guys are, these guys are great to watch all together. And this should be one heck of a contest. Man, your heart must be broken. I'm sorry. I'll tell you what's going to be broken is Noel's nose. I don't mean to rub it in. And here we go. Main event time. See, Isle City, New Jersey. And he weighs in at 231 pounds. He is the king of old school, Steve Carino. And then to my left. Weighing in at 287 pounds, handling from Austin, Texas, he is the American Dream, Dusty Rose. And there he is, and these fans love him. A true legend in Dusty. The bell has been rung. And the action is about to begin. Dusty. Expect. <laughs> expect an old school kind of match here. Ah, oh, and Dusty's doing a little, a little dance, a little jig. Steve Carino in great shape. Great conditioning, Steve Carino. As he backs Dusty Rhodes. You know how mad I am. I, I could imagine, Peter Van Orden. That, that's, that's a very sad thing to see. I don't think you think... I don't think that you... Oh, big elbow! Yeah. What's more important than that big elbow is what I'm going to do to Noel. Well, I mean, whatever you, you send to her, she definitely has coming and deserves. I don't think you're sympathetic at all. I think you're somewhat laughing at me. Are you pointing and laughing inside your little heart? I have a job to do here, and I, and I really appreciate you coming back up here to call this main event with me. Although your heart has been broken. Shut up! Right in front of my very eyes. Shut up, Rockwell. And in front of 300 fans. Yeah, well, you know what? You can tell those fans to shut up. How, how come you had Wenzel come out there? What the? Here we go. I've never seen that before in my life. An arm bar like that. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Oh, he's asking for the fans. Should he stomp on it? Should he stomp on it? Oh, Koba. And Karina. I need Coca Cola. Koba. And let me tell you another thing, Rockwell. I have had it with people like you and people judging me based on my lifestyle decisions. You know, what I've done in my life with Noel was one thing. These two guys are phenomenal athletes right here, Dusty Rhodes and Steve Carino, and they have every right to be in this ring right now. I'm gonna tell you something right now, and this is the last time I'm gonna talk about this. But Noel has no business being inside of a ring, okay? She has no business being inside my business. This is my business. This is Dusty Rhodes' business. And this is Steve Carino's business. These two men help 
to make this business, the wrestling business, what it is today. And when you have tramps like Noel running around in the back, going with Inferno, probably going with Tiger now too, and doing whatever else they're gonna be doing, and trying to get with the owner of the most prestigious wrestling company today, IHPW, just to advance her own career, is sad and sick. I know it's probably existed for years, but I'm gonna be the first person in this business to put an end to it. I don't mean to get on my soapbox here and talk about my personal things and diminish a wrestling classic that we're seeing right here. But let me make it very clear to Noel, Inferno, and Tiger Mulligan, who are the three stupidest people I've ever seen in my entire life. Anyone who has ever said anything different about them is a moron. Let me make it very clear that I am going to seek action, and I guarantee you, you will never see Noel's ugly face again, brother. Is that a guarantee? That's a PBO guarantee, and when I guarantee something, it happens. Wow. That's a newsbreaker. And right now, back to the main event here, Steve Carino has some type of object hitting in the back of his tongue, tights. Back of his tights. Referee Chris Anthony can't, now in his knee pad. I'm trying to keep up with this here. The fans see it, Chris Anthony. No, it's in his knee pad, Anthony. What are you doing? No, no, his knee. Oh, I guess if he doesn't feel it, he can't grab it. I don't know what it was. It was some type of steel or metal object. Steve Carino, he better not use that because he can't get disqualified. One of those things that I'll never understand. He's bringing them to the outside. She told me that she loved me. Atomic elbow. She told me all that mattered to her was me. They're on the outside, raking at each other. This might go into the streets. She lied, basically. Another. That tool is in Steve Carino's head, and now Dusty's on the floor. This ain't right. What's not right is what she did. Right? Oh, and he just jabbed it into his head. What are you talking about? Can you, can you concentrate on the match? I've had a very bad day. Listen, if you can't deal with this, I'll try to go at it alone, but you're supposed to be professional. I'm, I'm more professional than other people who like to cheat. Like Steve Carino using a weapon right now. But I have a feeling you were referring to someone else. No, that's what I was talking about, Steve Carino using a weapon. Oh, all right. I'm on, I'm on top of this. I'm a broadcast journalist besides being an owner, manager, and every other darn thing I am. Ex-husband, and here we go, Carino. Hey, you shut up, Rockwell, with that stuff. <laughs> oh, they're, they're over in the DJ section. What has he got there? What is that that he's using? Some type of metal object, and Chris Anthony is that a Wow. Who's the man now? Chris Anthony has to clear this match. No disqualification. It had to be. Oh! Big shot. Oh! Under the ring. Under the, not the ring, the table. Twice. It's our table. They're right in front of us. What are they doing at my table? With a lot of humanity. Watch out! Morons. Can we restore? I've had a bad enough night, and I gotta have these two guys on top of my table. Get him in the ring. Let's go. Get him in the ring. Security better get control of this because Chris Anthony has no control. Oh, good. They got some other officials out here. I doubt that's gonna help. Where's Dusty Rhodes going? The American dream. Where's he going? He I bet you chair. he's going down to the IHOP to get some pancakes. I heard there's a discount today. He has a chair. Oh. And he That's snails him. Ref, do your job. Oh, the fans are saying do your job, ref. As he, as he said that, Dusty Rhodes. The fans sounded like she had grit spewing all over. 
Dust. Oh, that's a low blow. That fan sounded like she was an alien. Close fist to the face. I hate to agree with you, but I do. I definitely agree. These fans oh, better learn to shut up. Man. Carino getting in the ears of the fans, and likewise. Another punch by Carino. Smart move here. This is nothing but a fight. I'm gonna fight for her. I'm gonna fight to win her back. And Carino's fighting with his fans. Every official in the IHPW rooster is you. out there. I miss you, honey baby. Carino, elbow to the head. You didn't have to end this way. Are you writing a letter? What? No, Give I'm not. That. No, I'm not. What? Come on, Peter Van Orn, concentrate. We got a main event here. Rock, well, can you focus on the match, please? Either one writing uh, apology letters, it seems. I'm not writing nothing. Sorry, honey, but what is this? Carino. This is a great move right here. Applying pressure to the jaw area. Oh no. I don't know if these fans are getting through to him, but it looks like he's starting to get justified. What do you think? It looks like he's gonna be shaking and raking. He's gonna be justified. He's gonna be rocking and rolling in a minute. Well, maybe oh, not. Carino, Carino, listen, Carino is a Japanese superstar. He's an ECW champion. He's wrestled in the NWA. He's wrestled in the MLW. He's wrestled for virtually every single company and been their world champion. He was the NWA world champion. As was Dusty Rhodes. Yeah, but Carino was a better NWA champion. That's first of all. Secondly, He's a man, Steve Carino, that has wrestled everywhere, has been everywhere. Everyone wants Steve Carino on their shows for one reason and one reason only, and that's because he is the toughest, most technically sound superstar, and I mean superstar, not some little joke like Tiger Mulligan. He is a superstar beyond superstar. So let's get it straight that Steve Carino can beat Dusty Rhodes on Dusty Rhodes' best day. And that's what it looks like right now. Carino is using the ropes to his advantage to apply more pressure no, 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 under the no, no, chin no. area Tiger. of Dusty's Inferno. Of Dusty Rose. The well. Oh, this might be it for Dusty. Good. The ref is in there. Oh, no. Dusty using a, a, a page out of the book of Carino. See, now why doesn't the referee DQ him? No DQ. Since when? He just announced it. When? When they were on the I outside. thought that was only for Carino. No DQ if Carino decides to use something, uh, not Dusty. Uh-oh, uh-oh. How was that fair? Uh-oh, he's shaking in a bacon. He's moving in a grooving. Oh, big elbow. That's a bionic elbow, I've heard. Carino doesn't know where he is. Oh, back elbow. Big elbow. This might be it. Dusty okay? He's get, trying to catch his breath. Carino's coming back. Oh, cuts him off again. Oh, Carino uses his own version of the atomic elbow. Oh, he just called himself the real American dream. And that's partially true. He started from nothing, Steve Carino. Oh. And has worked his way to the ECW title. Hey, let's not forget. Oh, what's he doing here? Steve Shut up. He was a former IHPW champion as well. Have you forgotten that? Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Spin doctor! Oh! Yeah, and that's it. That was enough to stun Steve Carino. And Dusty Rhodes picked up the very impressive victory. Ah. Dusty Rhodes gets another win. Steve Carino, unfortunately, takes another loss in the IHPW. Let's not take away. It was an excellent match. Both competitors gave it their all. And I'm very happy to see the way it ended. Speaking of it. Rockwell, I've got to get out of here because uh, I've got some business to take care of right now. But uh, I'll check you later. Smelly bastard. Speaking of ending, this is the end, folks. Thank you for joining IHPW for this 
been wonderful, terrific show. So much has happened tonight. Peter Van Oren has been broken up with, supposedly. Dusty Rhodes beats Steve Carino. Jay Lethal beats Josh Daniels. Tiger Mulligan beats Danny Carney. So much action. Deja Vu's broken up. And these fans are showing their appreciation. And with that, we appreciate you fans for checking us out. IHPW.com for more information. Thank you.